They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance and inheritance. Then it says, for where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator, for a testament is a, is a force after men are dead, otherwise there is no strength at all while the testator still liveth. And, you know, I've just wondered about my grandfather just passed, my, you know, my mom wrote a will and she's a testator of her will, and I'm looking, well, wow, you know, we'd have something to go back. Do we need, do we need any... You know, do we need any preachers or lawyers to tell us what a will, you know, is it still effective in 2010? Two, two, thousand, two years ago or two centuries ago, this century, I mean, does that go out of date or what? No, it doesn't. I appreciate your call, Mark. Those are interesting points. Ronnie in Texas, you're on the air. Uh, thank you, sir. Are you there? Yeah, I'm, we're here, Ronnie. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, I wanted to say... Uh, that, uh, that there's a headline we ought to hear in Austin. There was uh, there's medical tyranny going on. The mayor and the entire city council admit admits poisoning us on purpose. This was the last city council meeting I was allowed to attend, and they did. They all we asked them. Uh, you know, they get great information each and every meeting, and and, and so yeah, the bags of fluoride they're putting in the water say cause organ failure, deadly poison, and they dump it in the water. And we give them the facts, the, the facts each and every time. And we and so we ask them this time, who among you drinks this fluoridated tap water? Not a single one of them admitted to it. So they do, they, they're do. they doing it on purpose. You know, they're getting whatever kickbacks they get, and they pay, They take taxpayer tax dollars and waste it on them. Yeah, we pay $1.3 million a year for toxic waste to be dumped in the water. I appreciate your call. We, we got the city contracts last year. It may be more this year. No, I, I know. The problem is even if you don't drink fluoridated water, when you bathe, it goes through the skin, you breathe it. And, and the city council's like, we're medicating you. We've got a $2.6 billion carbon tax. Shut up. Take your medicine. Take your brain damage. Shut up. Speaking of medical tyranny, here's the Herald Sun. Parents pimp kids for swine flu. And it says parents are enrolling children as young as nine months in drug trials in exchange for hundreds of dollars. The cash payments, which could reach national ethical guidelines, will ignite debate over how much could be paid to cover reasonable expenses of trial participants. I mean, think of the whole swine flu hoax, how dangerous the vaccine is. I've had the head of the EU commission on admitting that the government was paid off to lie and say, take it. It's full of all sorts of mercury and toxins. Read the inserts. Here's another one. New York midwives lose right to deliver babies at home. A lot of people are having their children at home. I've seen the statistics. I, I was at a medical doctor's home this weekend. They talked about having their kids at home. And other people having their kids at home. And statistically, it's safer to have your child at home than at a hospital. They try to make you have a cesarean. They try to induce labor. They try to take control of your life and every facet of what you do. And I saw in the headlines again where they're setting up checkpoints, looking for people that have bought eggs or milk from farmers that are selling it. It's illegal to sell unpasteurized milk. Do you know what pasteurized cooked milk is? It's, it's total heart attack gruel. Uh, I mean, uh, real milk is so good for you. You can't have that. But when it's boiled, when it's pasteurized, heated to you know boiling point over and over again, it kills the pus, the blood, the feces from the dirty dairies. So the big agra lobbies so you can't get fresh milk. They give you basically liquid cheese. That's what milk is, but it's even more dead than cheese. Uh, but, I mean, look at this. They're taking over every level of our lives so that we're fully dependent on government and where any normal human activity, we're being domesticated, is illegal. As residents of the world's consumer capital, New Yorkers, can have anything delivered to their door at any time. They can have their hair cut in the living room, have champagne and caviar rush to them on a whim, enjoy a sushi uh, um, um, a sushi massage in their own bed or invite a clairvoyant to predict their future from tarot cards laid out on the kitchen table. But there's one thing that is currently unavailable for delivery to those who live in this most can-do of metropolises. Women cannot legally give birth at their home in the presence of a trained and experienced midwife. I mean, look, men took control in Western medicine 200 years ago of births. And they tell you, lay on your back. How do they have babies in Sweden? or in Germany, or in Africa, or in China. They have birthing chairs with gravity. A woman squats on a chair and has a baby in an average of an hour. But they make a woman get on her back and have a baby on her back so they can medicalize it and it takes on average more than 12 hours. 
They know you're supposed to have it in a birthing chair. They know you're supposed to squat and have that baby. They want to make money off of it. They want to control every stinking aspect, okay? How does a chicken lay an egg? It squats. How does a monkey have a monkey? It squats. How does a wolf have it? It squats. Or it lays on its side. I mean, again, everything is controlled. SWAT teams raiding people that sell eggs. SWAT teams raiding people that sell pumpkins and squash. SWAT teams. That's the new cocaine is, is, is an egg. God bless you all.